Hello guys, Ratchetman159 here. Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 on the very first episode. And we're going to go ahead and um, get started with today. If this happened in the first video seen by me, be sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell notification on so you can be notified by the latest videos. And yeah, so now we're just choosing the, you know, Okay, here we go. So, oh, make sure to like this video and share for friends if you enjoyed this. So, this continues after the eighth episode of the first season. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. All right, let's do this today. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Wow. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. It is great. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. Yeah, that I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it yeah, might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read a founding day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. We did it together. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. <laughs> well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. I, I remember. Jesse, your intern. Oh. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, Radar. gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am. Axel, sir. Lucas, sir. So, sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. I don't apologize. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry... You should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice! We should get going! Hmm. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And team. I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that... 
Things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. I love yeah. you guys. This has been great. Ah, it won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Mm. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel! <laughs> I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Beacon Town. Wow. What did they do? you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, definitely. My front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Yeah, let's do it. Let's build some cool stuff. Ah, uh, a blank canvas.
This is perfect. That is some sweet work. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, me amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Yeah, Thought we'd give this it. town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. There, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Yep. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. I'm pet him. Here, we Nice, tasty bone. Aw, oh, see? He likes you. Uh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Yeah, that's true. Well, I thanks. Know. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, what Sandy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Alright. That's awesome. So, let, me, uh, let me see what's over here. Let's talk to the citizen. Oh, wow! It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? Creeper. You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. Oh, I have God. devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> All right, I love talking about the good old days. Yes, I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or Let's like a effort. critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere? Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing. I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, oh. and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? All right. Yeah, this one was really sad. Best paint that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, yeah, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the flute. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, that's right? Cute. Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? That. I would love to. Seems like the least I can do. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderbolt the Sixth. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that one. I'm we'll trying my best to bring the Lord we'll Thunderbolt the Sixth. the most Ruben esque. Mm -hmm. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderbolt the Sixth. No question. Hey, look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Bye! Getting ready for rounding day, that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna be here, this looks really cool. Jesse! Hey, hey! Oh, wow. Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? 
are you doing? I'm glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I wow. guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slide diving. Slide diving, that is cool. Give us a hand finishing it up. I'll let you take the first dive. Five design schematics. Sounds Didn't you great. Up? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving it. off this excellent pagoda bomb design, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I think stone is definitely safer. I'm just conflicted because stone is safer. Why don't we run with that? Okay, let's do it. Put it up. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Oh, that is awesome. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Yeah, that's nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse. Wow. Hi. Huh. Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? It's perfect. Does it fit? I think it's perfect. Oh, wow! Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Hmm. He doesn't look okay, honestly. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, let's talk to them. Stacey and Snoopy. I am telling you, Snoopy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best! And I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go, those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and we have both. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I feel we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> yeah, true. No, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this. Let's get the egg. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, we need to go get the sugar canes. Okay, let's go. I saw some sugar canes earlier, so we're going to try to get that. Where did, where did it go? Where is it? I thought I saw it over here. Here they are. Here's yeah, sugar cane. There we go. Sugar. Nice. Just what I need to help Stampy and Stacy. Okay, let's go. Let's get the, the crafting table. I think it was over here. Let's do it. Okay. Two recipes. Okay. Give both. He 
said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? <laughs> well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, wow, Jesse. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. <laughs> wow. Waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Let's go. Bye! Bye. See you later. Okay, let's go. you work. It truly was stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. It is. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. I have faith in Risking you. your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Right, Bye! Go. Have a good time! Don't I always? Go. We're in the mines now. We may be a little late though, so Petra might be a little upset, but I gotta help the people. It's just going on. I always help people. Petra? Huh, it's swear she said to meet right here. Oh, where is she? Petra! Where are you? Them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. 
What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. What is that? What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? Race. It's monster hunting time. Oh gosh, well, let's go. Let's see this. <laughs> I still I still think that was funny. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! I think I was gonna touch that really easily. Yeah. Huh! Woo! Alright, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? What? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. Oh my gosh. There you go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, you're worse out of me. Let's get out of here. Right, we're going, we're going. We're getting out of here. Bye. Okay, Come on, is this? Hey, dude. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, you know. how about we get you out of here, huh? Well, let's go. <clears throat> Let me see if she knows this. Come here, Llama. Come on. Come on. I probably shouldn't have said it was a stupid llama. He's probably gonna kick me. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that door armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Yeah, let's get it. Just craft it.
Yeah. Wow, that is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Let's cover it up. I don't think there's something taking off over here. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Mm -hmm. uh, on second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Yeah, definitely not. There, come on! Up there. Let's go. Oh, here we go, we're almost up there. Hey, this is pretty good so far. <laughs> that adventure is just beginning though. There we go. That's a pretty cool real thing right there. Definitely. Let's see. Uh, top secret, go away. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find yeah. that in, like, Monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that yeah, happen again. Yeah. That was that was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. I knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. This Patrick, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I... Ugh, I promise we'll take care of it. Just... Why are you being so weird about this llama? What's yeah. the big deal? Yeah, I know. <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah. Yeah. I... I... Kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... Why didn't you tell me? not great. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, what? yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, and her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea that leader was like that. She's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it yeah, back bullies. this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra, and I don't let bullies go being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Oh my okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. Oh my gosh. That thing is on my hand and it's stuck. It's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. <laughs> uh, yeah, good one. 
<laughs> that was funny. No problem. Sure, hope you're right. right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Yeah. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. All right, let's go. Here we go. We're going in here. Petra, you lied to me. I... Yeah, 
I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. Yeah, I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Find a way in, or... Sneak. We'll get sneak in. Sneak in. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's go. Right, let's go. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute! Yeah, cute. Oh, no! Oh my gosh. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. I got bones. When Stacy gave me earlier. Look at the bone. Look at it. I think it's the bone. Oh, let's go. Oh gosh. I think it's more than one body. Oh my god. Go get it. Go get the bone. They all go after it. Puppy's bones. Coast is clear. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Yep. Stella's treasure room. Oh wow. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond O? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. This is sad. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. No, definitely not. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, you nothing. This? But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh... It seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Hmm. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time! It gets embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? Oh, it was right there. It's supposed to be. You're sure it was here? Oh. oh my gosh, I think she's the last one. Check it out. That's right, it's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is so awkward. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. And over the sword. Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough here. Fine. Fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. Well, good. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will brew till 
Still not my rival! Oh, man. <laughs> she seems obsessed or something. <laughs> she seems obsessed or something. It's weird. Raw. Feels so good to have you back. Miss Bugs. Thank you so much for your help. And I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. I said, man. Tell me about it. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. Wow. The upper 
lowlands, Spider Peak Mountain, the ice crags of doom? Wow. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all Beacon over the Town world. So cool. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Yep. Push for service. Push the button. Button? Please, button do. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. I'm very... Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. Wow. Oh, uh. <gasps> Where do you go? The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Oh, yeah. Yeah! That's what we're here about. Yep, that's what we're here about. That's what it's uh, uh, Wow! Huh? Crazy globe you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. We know you're lying. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, come on, Jack. I... bet you said that. Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, yeah. and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. Uh, it's not for us mortals to tell. Whispering with. my name. But he was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more. I would pick it up because what's your that name? That pit. <laughs> it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. Oh, yeah. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nerm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Hi, Nerm. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. What? What? Sorry. We're talking about Jack. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Because... 
I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone off to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. <sighs> Shut up, Nerm. We need that what? map. Cat, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends, Boss and Sammy, to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Oh my gosh. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. Oh, yeah. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. Oh. That knowledge is... We'll do it my curse. Jack, Jack, it sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. Jukebox. 
<laughs> or a creeper in a herd of cats. He's, or a he's squid a good guy. in a, I don't know, a box or side. Anyway, he's real nervous, is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never gotten. Probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. You love it Not nice as way. big, of course, but, uh, you know, real, a real great swing. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but <laughs> sure. Yeah, we can do this. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. <laughs> no, no, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. Yeah, me too. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Yeah. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, Let's go find us a sea temple. Yeah, let's Jack. go. Nerd, you guys ready to go? Adventure! Oh, so where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nerm. It's an awesome name. <laughs> That's an awesome name. That is an awesome name. The what? 
supposedly some all-powerful ancient person built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that, a legend, a story. A bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Well, that sounds like a load of junk. Glad we agree, but just remember, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Yeah. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. <laughs> the, the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. How do you breathe? Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? <laughs> there was a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers upon Bar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Alright, we're going underwater. This is going to be cool. With those, those helmet gear, that's really awesome. Oh, that's some cool fish. This is really cool. And these, these scuba suits, that's funny. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm waiting for it. You know? Let's go. Them as 
statues, they're so big. Yeah. Right? And what's up with their faces? They, they don't even look, you know, like people. I know. I hate them. Hmm. Uh, no, Nerm. There's nothing wrong with not people. Come on, jeez. I, uh, I'm gonna need a sec just to check my enchantments. Yeah, make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must have right. a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's, it's got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. You're right. Thanks, Jesse. Man, we got Bye. this. Jesse, we've got a jack problem. 
Yes. What? This is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Jack saw you die. But Jack said he saw you die. Oh, it must have been one of the vile tricks of this temple. Surely you must have seen how it is. Anyway, yeah. it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, <laughs> escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive? That's a victory enough? Oh. I'd really we like to see the sunshine lot. again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. Uh, even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Yeah. Uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Oh, no. We'll be okay. We got this, Voss. Ugh. More of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, something. I think something's about to happen here. Why did you do that? Block. 
<laughs> Nern says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts. Declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. Yeah. says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. Mm -hmm. Says that's the Wall of the Builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. I'm gonna take this Builder one. path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right?
it metaphorically. Really did it. 
Hmm, yeah, I guess they did. Think that's really the end of it? Oh, certainly looks that way to me. Hey, come on, let's go home, you guys. Oh my gosh, well, wow. what about that big giant statue guy? I mean, wasn't he... Do you think he's gonna follow us? Maybe he will. I don't know. Hope not. Oh my. It's only the first episode. So I can't do that easy. Oh! <laughs> this is more people than I've seen in a long time! Hey everyone! Happy Founding Day! Wow. Oh, welcome back! We were worried you'd miss it! You're back! Thank goodness, this has, ooh, this has been a lot of work. People only need things approved, or help with building, or handling animals. Might have been a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. The place looks great. Yeah? Yeah, you did a great job, Radar. Yeah, wow, you. thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? episode guys maybe there's something else afterwards let's see and that's all room and then to sneak and then we're somewhere they would be in charge of radar that was nearest me to a hero you told me to be yourself it says what you choose then you have to the wall and go there it says Jack will praise me and froze or help patch a save her so I don't send to help grab cash that's why There's, oh, there's something else here, okay. Oh, it's Lucas! He's writing his book.
And that'll be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time when we take on episode two. So have a great day, guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.